Germany won't allow Putin dictated Ukraine peace. Olaf Scholz. Germany will not let Russian President Vladimir Putin forcibly alter Ukraine's borders or impose the terms of peace. Chancellor Olaf Scholz has vowed we will not accept a dictated peace at the expense of Ukraine. Scholz told German lawmakers in Berlin, law is stronger than violence. He added that Putin sought to violate that principle with the launch of Russia's military operation against Ukraine in February 2022. We will not let him get away with this, he said. Scholz insisted that Germany's backing of Ukraine in the conflict with Moscow will not decrease and that expecting otherwise would be a miscalculation. He reiterated his criticism of Putin's re-election last weekend for a fifth term as president, saying it showed that Russia is not strong. If the Russian president believes that he just has to wait out this war and that our support will weaken, then he is mistaken. Scholz underlined while addressing the Bundestag. He reiterated that the Weimar Triangle and the entire European Union stand together in their support for Kiev. In his remarks, Scholz criticized the debate in Germany around the potential delivery of Taurus cruise missiles to Ukraine, which the Chancellor opposes. The debate in Germany is nothing short of ridiculous, he declared. This is embarrassing for us as a country, he said, arguing that the debate was not understood outside of Germany. Scholz has argued that Taurus deliveries could spark further escalation with Russia and cause Germany to be drawn directly into the conflict. He said Ukraine would be able to use the missiles to strike deep into Russian territory and that Ukrainian forces would need guidance from German personnel to use them. He pointed to the fact that Germany is Ukraine's second largest supplier of military aid, saying that this must be recognized. However, as EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell acknowledged in an interview, European allies will be hard-pressed to fill the funding gap if Kiev's biggest backer, Washington, reduces its support. US President Joe Biden's administration ran out of funding for Ukraine in January and has struggled to secure congressional approval for over $60 billion in additional military and financial aid.